Now, police have pepper sprayed an 84-year-old woman in the U.S. state of Oklahoma, deeming her dangerous after they broke into her house to arrest her son. Well, this video does show police kicking down the door of the house and using a taser on Arthur Blackman. His mother then entered the room and was pepper sprayed as she failed to comply with the officer's commands. Police said they followed Blackman to his mother's house after he allegedly ran a stop sign. The elderly woman was taken to hospital after suffering a panic attack in jail. The Muskogee police chief has supported the actions of the officer though involved, uh, the one who attacked the elderly woman, saying she used pepper spray to make her comply. But Dr Randy Short, a member of the organisation Dignity, Human Rights and Peace, says that such actions do run the risk of tragedy. It could cause a person enough stress to have a heart attack. This happens on a regular basis. It happens every so many uh, months that you'll hear about someone asphyxiating or, or because of how they were handled. If you get American soldiers who have tortured and raped and committed crimes under the flag in other countries and then you put them in areas where they don't like the people, all of these shootings and abuses are predictable outcomes of what appears to be a policy. They act out on their hatred of uh, African Americans and others under the cover of being in law enforcement. What needs to happen is the police need to be demilitarized, get rid of combat-grade weapons among the police, and as well, the police should look like the people that they police. Well, as you heard, the authorities said that the woman and her son prompted the use of non-lethal force by refusing to obey orders. However, pepper sprays have reportedly caused a surprising number of deaths, not only in the U.S., but across the world, too, due to the fear of police using unnecessary force people have taken to filming officers. Pulled over by a police officer. Um, yeah. He's saying that I crossed over a solid line and I did not. He raised his voice at me and threatened to arrest me. And I would like another officer to come out here. My heart is racing. I'm really afraid. Please. Sir, can you stop? What's the word? This is harassment. No, sir. No, sir. Dude, get off of me. Sir, sir, sir. If you're not going to cooperate. I'm not. You can't walk in stop. here. Yes, I can. Sir, I have this stop. on camera. Stop. Sir, I did not do anything wrong. I did not do anything wrong. On your face! Now, another news. Uh, today, 13 people have been released from a secret prison in Ukraine run by the country's security service. At least that's according to human rights groups. They're calling on the government to admit its knowledge of the prison and for an investigation to be conducted into claims of torture and arbitrary detention. There has been no official acknowledgement of their detention or release or of the problem of enforced disappearances. This continued denial of enforced disappearances and secret detention fosters a climate of lawlessness and perpetuates impunity for grave human rights violations. The issue was first raised by Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch back in July when they mapped the alleged secret detention sites run by both Kiev and anti-government rebels. The activists spoke with some of those who'd been released from a jail in a government-held area. There were baseball bats there and some kind of a machine with electricity. First they hit me with a baseball bat through my clothes, which wasn't that bad because it was winter and I wore layers. Then they told me to undress and to supplicate myself with my knees bent under me, my palms and feet stretched out. They started beating me on my soles with a pipe. There was one person who was only asking questions. He was in front of me. Behind me, different men were kicking me viciously in the back. They were doing it in pairs. When two men got tired from kicking me, another two replaced them. They continued for about six hours. I saw their insignias. They were the Nepa 1 and Don Bass battalions. I also heard a woman screaming, and I recognized the voice. It was that woman from our town they kept asking me about. At some point, they said, Do you hear this? Would you want your wife to be next in line? Well, in response, Ukraine's uh, security service has reacted by saying the information about any secret prison is false. We spoke with Amnesty International about how the alleged facilities operate.
after the initial enforced disappearance of a person, they were brought to the uh, SBU or the, for, to the Secret Security Service of Ukraine uh, compounds in Mariupol, in Kramatorsk, in Izium, in uh, Pokrovsk. These are all towns in eastern Ukraine near the contact line uh, with the pro-Russian uh, separatists. And uh, after spending a couple of weeks uh, in uh, these places, people have uh, given uh, and con confessed uh, on the camera of their alleged crimes of helping the pro-Russian separatists. Uh, we understand that these confessions were extracted under the rest. Uh, including beatings and uh, much uh, heavier torture. And after these confessions, fake confessions were obtained, these people were sent to Kharkiv uh, as their final destination. In uh, some cases, uh, these people had uh, actually nothing to do uh, with uh, the so-called DNR and the LNR, and uh, they were left uh, in this kind of a vacuum, and some of them have spent more than two years uh, in secret detention. In other news, an explosion has hit the capital of Kyrgyzstan after a man tried to ram his car into the Chinese embassy in Bishkek. Uh, the attacker died and injured three other people. The country's deputy prime minister says the assault was an act of terror. Witnesses claim the explosion was so powerful it could actually be heard in many areas of the city. You're watching RT International. When we come back after a quick break, we'll have the latest on the battle over the bikini in Europe, leaving countries divided on whether to ban the Muslim swimsuit.